My name is Stephen Knoll. I am a principal cybersecurity researcher for the MITRE Corporation. And I'll be describing our approach for predicting links and network traffic as a way to help optimize micro-segmentation policy for such traffic. This is the first time that link prediction has been applied for formulating network policy. We recognize that the semantics for nodes linking to one another are fundamentally different for this application as opposed to an application such as social media analysis. This leads to a new way of link prediction that we call dependency-based prediction. Because we need to apply our link prediction models to actual networks, we develop an approach for automatically tuning the sensitivity of these models. This part of the problem is largely ignored in the literature. Our predicted links then augment the baseline models for MITRE's Adaptive Resiliency Experimentation System, or ARIES, which is a system for optimizing network resiliency. Key results for ARIES are described in an article in the Journal for Defense Modeling and Simulation, and you can reach out to me for more details on that. This shows the processing flow for our approach to link prediction for network policy formulation and how it fits within the overall ARIES capability stack. ARIES collects data about a defendant environment and builds a model of activity within the network, especially regarding vulnerability paths that can be exploited by adversaries and the need to maintain certain access to network resources to support organizational missions. Link prediction augments this by anticipating future access needs beyond what has already been observed. It measures the performance of each link prediction combination and then chooses and tunes the best performing one. ARIES simulates threat scenarios against the network and finds the combination of security controls, which include micro-segmentation policy, that optimize resiliency to these threats. It then deploys the optimal resiliency settings to the network in a fully automated way. Human red teams and automated adversary emulation tools then validate this approach. For our link prediction experimentation, we decompose link prediction into its three constituent parts, measuring host similarities based on a graph-based model of network traffic, forming groups of nodes deemed sufficiently similar, and inducing predicted links based on selected semantics, either affinity or dependency-based. We factorially combine these constituent parts, evaluate each combination, select the best performing combination for deployment, and then tune the sensitivity of the selected model. A variety of graph models are employed in ARIES for link prediction and other tasks. The most general form in ARIES is a labeled attributed directed multigraph. In this paper, for consistency with traditional work and link prediction, we employ a simple, undirected, non-labeled, non-attributed graph model. We apply the formulas shown here for measuring similarity between nodes in our traffic graph. This includes Jacquard coefficient, Adamic ADAR index, resource allocation index, common neighbor and centrality based parameterized algorithm or CCPA, and preferential attachment score. For a given node similarity formula, we find either pairs of nodes that are sufficiently similar or apply a clustering algorithm to find larger sets of sufficiently similar nodes. For a given set of sufficiently similar nodes, the link induction phase of ARIES identifies previously unobserved links that are predicted to occur in the future. Traditionally, link prediction has been applied to domains in which the graph nodes represent entities of the same type, such as users in a social network. In such domains, graph links represent affinity relationships. For computer networks, links represent connectivity between host nodes of different types, such as from a client to a server. For such networks, we postulate that dependency rather than affinity is the more correct criterion for link induction. Rather than predicting that two similarly behaving nodes will themselves link together or show affinity to one another, dependency-based 
induction predicts that two such nodes will link with other nodes in the same way. That is, they will have common dependencies. In this illustrative example, nodes A and B are deemed to be sufficiently similar. Traditional affinity-based link prediction predicts that node A and B will themselves become linked. Dependency-based link prediction predicts that node A will become linked with node F, as node B has done in the past. For a given combination of functions for for a given combination of functions for node similarity, node grouping, and link induction, Ares trains a model, applies it for prediction, tests the quality of the predicted links, and then selects the model combination that has the best predictive performance. In our experiments, we apply publicly available data collected from the Los Alamos National Laboratory Enterprise Network. This plot shows F1 score curves for various link prediction models, where F1 score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. This is for about half an hour of observed network traffic with a 75-25% training testing split. The x-axis is the prediction sensitivity, or the similarity acceptance threshold, for each model and the y-axis is the F1 score for a given model with a given threshold. A particularly notable curve is for preferential attachment similarity with standard affinity-based link induction. This solid blue curve is a sharp spike in which the F1 score is high for a single value of the threshold but zero everywhere else. This very narrow range suggests that this model would not be robust to changes in the underlying behavior of the network over time, so that it is not suitable for deployment. On the other hand, the green dash dotted curve for Adamic ADAR similarity with ARIES dependency based link induction has a large value over a wide range of threshold values suggesting that it might give good performance even as performance curves fluctuate in the future. This highlights the utility of using the area under the F1 curves as the criterion for selecting the best model to deploy. The idea is that the model with stronger performance over a wider range of thresholds is the best choice. This shows the areas under each of the F1 score curves in the previous slide, along with areas under the corresponding recall and precision curves. These plots also include performance with HDB scan clustering, which stands for Hierarchical Density-Based Spatial Clustering of Applications with Noise. HDB scan does not have a similarity threshold parameter, so it does not appear in the previous slide. Across all similarity measures, ARIES dependency-based link induction, which are the blue bars, yields orders of magnitude larger F1 score areas compared with standard affinity-based induction, which are the orange bars. This is strong evidence in favor of our hypothesis that dependency semantics are better suited to cyber networks. The model with the largest area under its F1 curve is for Adamic ADAR similarity. The Adamic ADAR index extends the idea of rewarding higher numbers of common links, as is done for the Jacquard coefficient, by weighting rarer connections more heavily. This model, as do all models other than those using clustering algorithms, does pairwise or cardinality 2 grouping, while the clustering algorithms can produce larger cardinality groups. HDB scan clustering yields the second best F1 score area. On the other hand, hierarchical clustering, which is a greedy algorithm that lacks the adaptive nature of HDB scan, has a poor F1 score. This suggests that HDB scan's density based clustering is a good fit for the semantics of this problem. Considering recall alone, hierarchical clustering has the highest area under the curve. HDB scan has the lowest, and the various models with pairwise grouping lie in between. This shows that hierarchical clustering is the most inclusive way of grouping nodes, resulting in a larger portion of true positive link predictions 
relative to all the new links that in, indeed occur. HDB scan is the least inclusive in that regard. In terms of precision, relative model performance mirrors that for F1 score. Since F1 score is a harmonic mean with recall precision product as its denominator, smaller values for recall versus precision dominate the score. In this case, since the precision values are significantly lower than the recall values, precision dominates the F1 score. In formulating optimal microsegmentation policy, ARIES captures a baseline policy and then seeks to maximize availability for organizational mission needs and minimize adversarial opportunities. Without link prediction, ARIES builds its baseline policy from a historical record of observed traffic. However, that approach is limited since it only considers previous network activity overlooking potential new mission needs. Link prediction adds an element of adaptivity by predicting near-term requirements for network access. As shown in the upper table, any positive prediction of a link, either a true positive or a false positive, represents an allowed access that would not have been allowed without link prediction. Any negative prediction, either a true negative or a false negative, represents no further allowed access beyond policy based on historical records. A true positive is predicted to be needed as, and is in fact needed. Such a link adds mission value by now being available in the baseline policy. On the other hand, if the link destination is vulnerable, that provides an additional attack vector. A false positive is predicted to be needed but is not in fact needed. Such a link adds no mission value. As for true positive, if the destination is vulnerable, allowing a false positive link provides an additional attack vector. A true negative is not predicted to be needed and is not in fact needed. Thus, no contribution to mission value is possible since there is no mission need. No additional attack vector is added in that case. A false negative is not predicted to be needed but is in fact needed. In this case, mission value is reduced and no additional attack vector is added. Recall measures the ability to maximize support for the mission regardless of any associated risks. On the other hand, precision measures the ability to minimize unnecessary risks in supporting the mission. F1 score then measures the ability to jointly maximize mission support and minimize unnecessary risks. True negatives are irrelevant to the organizational mission and it do not introduce attack vector, so they are a don't care in terms of prediction performance. ARIES includes predicted links along with previously observed links as allowed access rules with deny by default as a baseline micro segmentation policy. We can assess a link prediction model in a security context by computing a baseline resiliency measure resulting from the application of the model's predicted links. This assessment is in terms of threat containment, which is the inverse attack score for the predicted links, and mission access, which is the relative number of new policy accesses needed by the mission introduced by the predicted links. The attack score considers the incremental value in terms of the number of exploitable paths that predicted edges give an attacker from a particular start node to a particular goal node, then finds the mean incremental value over all pairs of such nodes. The resiliency baseline measure is then defined as the mean of threat containment and mission access, which is consistent with the ARIES optimization objective function. As an example, the first row of the bottom table shows the security context measures for the Adamic ADAR with ARIES dependency base link induction, which has the highest F1 score area as shown in the previous uh, slide. This model yields a resiliency baseline of 0.39. The second row shows the security context measures for hierarchical clustering with ARIES link induction, which has low precision but the largest recall. 
this model yields a resiliency baseline of 0 0.04, which is significantly lower than the baseline for Adamic ADAR with ARIES. This shows that while hierarchical clustering provides significantly more links needed by the mission, it also introduces significantly higher risks. A strong bias for preferring mission access over threat containment would need to be applied in the ARIES objective function before hierarchical clustering becomes preferable over Adamic ADAR. In most approaches to link prediction, there is a parameter that determines the sensitivity of the predictive algorithm, representing a trade-off between precision and recall. Such approaches generally leave that as an adjustable parameter, with little guidance on how to adjust it in an applied setting, which in our case is an operational cyber network. In our experiments, performance curves often exhibit abrupt transitions as the tuning parameter is adjusted, which makes the choice of proper tuning value crucial. To address this, we apply a low-pass signal filter to the performance curve for a given link prediction model. This helps handle the abrupt transitions, capturing the general trend of the curve as a function of the tuning parameter. We compute the argmax and center of mass for a curve as bounds for least versus most risk-averse solutions for optimal threshold, for balancing higher performance against a wider range of feasibility. Overall, these techniques provide robust estimates for optimal tuning values that are expected to perform well given potential variation in future network behavior. To summarize, we described the novel application of link prediction for learning micro-segmentation policy in cyber networks. Our approach combines established link prediction formulas for node similarity with new dependency-based link induction to align with the semantics of cyber networks. Experimental results with real network data demonstrate that our dependency-based link prediction significantly outperforms traditional link prediction by orders of magnitude. For practical application of link prediction to operational cyber networks, we automatically tune link prediction sensitivity by applying low-pass signal filtering to smooth abrupt changes in the prediction performance curve. We adaptively blend the argmax and center of mass of a given curve to balance risk versus reward in estimating the optimal threshold value, yielding a parameter value with high performance over a stable region of the curve. Our approach to link prediction is a component of the MITRE ARIES capability stack for optimizing cyber network resiliency. ARIES applies observed and predicted links as a baseline policy model for optimizing resiliency for defense scenarios. Finding the optimal balance between network access for the organizational mission and cyber attack risk. Link prediction provides an ability to anticipate future network access patterns for baseline ARIES models. These links can provide access for the organizational mission as well as introduce new attack paths for adversaries. Future work can examine how ARIES defensive responses can best apply these enhanced predictive baselines in balancing attack risks and mission accesses, and to go beyond basic node similarity measures to improve absolute performance of our link prediction. Thank you for your time. If you would like to discuss this work, you can contact me at snoll at mitre.org.